Most of the Bay State's historical covered bridges are in the western part of the state, but not all. The closest can be found in Pepperell. It is a lattice truss type of bridge, and it has two walkways on both sides of it, so it will handle pedestrian traffic as well as vehicles. Diane Cronin's first encounter with the Pepperell Covered Bridge was nothing short of life changing. I drove through it and I fell in love. Next thing she knew, this former IT professional was moving to Pepperell and opening a gift shop, the Covered Bridge Country Store. Because you can throw a stone at the Covered Bridge right in front of my, my store. The bridge, restored and reopened in 2010, has a colorful history. In 1775, the local men were marching to Boston to engage the British. In their absence, Prudence Wright assembled a militia of women armed with pitchforks and captured two loyalists at this bridge. 20 minutes to the south, the last covered bridge on our road trip gives us a chance to cross the mighty Mulpus. The mighty Mulpus, yes, this is the mighty Mulpus Brook. We've come to the Bull Run restaurant in Shirley. This old roadhouse, best known for its lively concerts, historic dining rooms, and the legendary Egopantis. The odd creature, allegedly killed while sipping from the mighty Mulpus, now mounted over the fireplace. It's kind of the quirky bull run thing. <laughs> we meet owner Allison Tachi out back on the Bull Run's covered bridge. Built in 1971 to access a parking lot, the bridge has turned into a destination in itself. I probably do 35 or 40 wedding ceremonies a year here on this covered bridge. We do dinner on the covered bridge. We have done yoga on the covered bridge. I've had dance troops come out from Boston. There are a thousand things you could do with it. It's a beautiful setting. It is a testament to the timeless appeal of these engineering anachronisms, each with its own story, no two alike. There's whole clubs devoted to just going to see covered bridges and to collect pictures of them. I think it's because they are increasingly rare and unique, and people are fascinated by what's different, what, what's unique. There's something romantic about a covered bridge. It's a bygone era. It's a relic from the past that's still around. It's an antique that you can actually still drive on. And so I think we're connecting to our own past, the past that makes up all of us. And back to Prudence Wright, she was actually one of the very first military women. Right, she was awarded the rank of captain. Her epitaph reads, in memory of the captain of the bridge guard. And here's to all who protect our covered bridges. <laughs> and that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.